Hello World, Mike from Newfound Pass with this week's haul video. Uh, we went to two thrift stores uh, today instead of our usual three. We had some other errands to run, time constraints, but we still got some good stuff. Uh, you know, picky picking just like normal. And uh, yeah, got some good stuff, some unique stuff. First up, we got this L.L. Bean coat jacket. No, it's not new with tags. Eh, strange for us, I know. Uh, you know, with our discount, we paid 10 to 12 bucks for this, Mark 15. This is only a medium, that is the only negative about this. Um, being used, uh, usually I would pass on it, use yellow bean stuff, and I have been passing on use yellow bean stuff, but there's three factors why I picked this one up, this particular jacket, coat, jacket coat. First, it has this wool blanket lining. People love that stuff. This is a wool blend, it's like 85% wool blanket lining. Second and third, it is Gore-Tex and it is Thinsulate. So the combination of those things uh, makes this jacket uh, going to be between the $75 to $100 mark. I'm going to push to $100 and hopefully I can get that. But um, yeah, I think it's $75 to $100. But we'll see. Next up, we got this. Uh, this is a brand that I try to get every time I see it. You know, this isn't anything extravagant or huge, and this is used. It's not new with tags, but this is a Patagonia Cinchilla vest. I sell these all the time. We pick this up for about four bucks, and these are serious, like quick, easy, twenty-five to thirty dollars. So, yeah, that's the only reason I buy Patagonia used. I've been staying away from used stuff, but Patagonia sells so fast. You know velocity of the sale you know makes it worthwhile another thing if this was used I wouldn't have bought it but uh, this is a Walt Disney the world Walt Disney World and there is a difference that some Disney store stuff isn't worth uh, buying but this is the actual Walt Disney World tag and this is from the uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge polo shirt brand new with the tags this is a large and we paid about four bucks for that. Again, not huge, not spectacular, but in the 30s, yeah, no problem in the 30s. So yeah, that was pretty good. Next up, we have this Washington Nationals Under Armour. And this is an Under Armour heat gear polo shirts, brand new with the tags. And uh, blue and pink were half off at this thrift store. So we got this for five bucks. Yeah, really nice shirt, brand new, and again, in the 30s or so for that. Get the Under Armour logo. And only a couple more clothing pieces. We were pretty picky. Isn't this cool? And this is a Toes on the Nose brand. I haven't found this in a long, long time. Uh, yeah, uh, paid about five bucks for this or so. Most of the time, these shirts are only about 20 or 25 dollars, but this one is special. It's special because it has cars on it. It has the, you know, Volkswagen van. It has a Studebaker back here. It has a panel wagon. It has a Mustang. It has, it has all kinds of cool cars on it, you know. People love this kind of stuff. Uh, and there's no exact comps of this out there. There's some other similar uh, but I think this is about a $50 shirt because it's in fantastic condition it's vintage yeah so pretty nice last clothing item and I've said this before but I feel every time I find something like this I have to say it again I don't care what your politics are if I can make money off of you I'm going to do it period that's it I don't like to talk about politics on my channel and I don't but you'll see why uh, this brand I would have bought anyway I'd have bought regardless if it was new with tags which this is this is new with tags this is a sweater vest it looks basic from the back right yeah pretty basic but this I don't even know how to say this word <laughs> this is this brand actually but we picked this up for only four dollars and this is a um, Bemidji <laughs> Bemidji brand <laughs> I have trouble saying that word for some reason but yes, and it is embroidered with Rick Santorum on there. Uh, an exact one, exactly like this, sold for 40 or $45. And I'll probably try to push to 50 you know. So, 
especially being brand new with tags. And that's the last piece of clothing. So on to some hard goods. Picked up this uh, Travel Pro uh, Crew 5 carry-on bag with the rollers. This is this is with new with the tags, but it does have some like shelf wear. So I will do like new other on this item. I got this for five bucks. And this will sell for about fifty or sixty dollars. So yeah. I just search Travel Pro Crew 5 and you'll see. So pretty nice little pickup there. Surprised to see that. My wife picked this up, this Picard little backpack for uh, six dollars and fifty cents. Uh, she comped it. I don't know exactly what it will bring, but if she says it's going to be fine, it's going to be fine. So probably about, I don't know, 40 or so, maybe. I don't know. But um, this is used. It's not new, but it's in pretty good condition. So, yeah, pretty cool. Got a little bag with some of these Dritz uh, uh, cover button kits in them. There's like four of them in there. And those kits sell for like $4 a piece. But there's some other little stuff in here, some hardware and stuff that I can use. And we picked up this whole bag for a buck fifty. So I'll sell the new and packaged stuff out of there, use the other stuff. So kind of a no-brainer. Next up, another thing my wife picked up this uh David clock. Totally vintage. Uh picked this up for two and change, you know, it's pretty cheap. Uh have no idea about this one, but um because my wife picked this up and she knows a lot about clocks. Uh, she, I don't even think there's anything out there about this, but clocks like this are pretty cool and they can be fairly desirable. So. Okay, go to this side. We got this, this Buddha head and this is modern. We're not in, under any delusion. This is antique or anything like that, but it's still cool. It was 10 bucks. Uh, most of these heads are ceramic. This one is metal. And the reason, I mean, sometimes that sound can fool you on ceramics, but this one is metal because there's a, a green corrosion inside of the hollow. Um, that indicates copper. There's some kind of copper alloy in this thing, but, you know, who knows what it is. We will probably keep this for a while, but if we were to sell it, you know, as just decorative purposes only, it's probably about 40 or 50 bucks because it's metal. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I picked up a... I do this all the time. I hate paying a dollar for a song that I want. CDs are so cheap in the store. I'll pick up CDs when I find them because you get these for 50 cents a piece. You know, it has all kinds of good songs on it, but that's just something I do. You know. Got another, just it's kind of a basic, but it's a cigar ashtray. It has the big slots. And I uh, picked this up for a buck fifty. And we pick these up all the time and I sell them for $20, $25. I mean, it's just easy money. Make sure there's no chips, run your finger. Around all the edges. Yep. Pick these up to put in my shipping supplies. These are just small coin envelopes for a buck fifty. You know, these are ten or twelve bucks for buy them new. So pick that up for my shipping supplies. This I did not comp. I just picked it up, put it in the cart, kept on going. This is only two dollars. Looks like a shoe box, right? It's not shoes. This is a mug and a little stone set. Brand new, and this has Department of the Integrated Assessment, Ministry of National Defense. I think this is Korean, honestly, but uh, yeah, it's brand new, it's cheap, and I think it'll be okay. Obviously, no comps on this, but it was just kind of cool, you know. You know, even uh, two bucks, even if it brings twenty-five dollars, it's a win, you know. So there you go. Next up, we got this. Uh, this is a Pottery Barn Kids uh, Happy Daisy. Finials, uh, lavender in color. Uh, the Pottery Barn Kid stuff, yeah, it's hit and miss just like anything, but the Happy Daisy stuff sells really well. And this is a set of two lavender purple finials. I only paid three bucks for this. And these are new in the shelf worn box, of course. And these will probably sell for about 35 bucks or so. So, yeah, Pottery Barn Kids. Found a mug for the first time in a long time besides that set, uh, but just a mug in the wild. This Reese's peanut butter cup, big orange mug for a buck. This thrift store had marked their mugs up so high and we just stopped buying them. 
and they started to come down again. So, <laughs> and on the back side of this one, it says chocolate and peanut butter, walk into a bar, the rest is history. That's what makes this mug. This is a $30, $35 mug because of this. And it's clean, it's good, but it was only a buck. But uh, yeah, like I said, this their store marked their mugs up to two fifty and sometimes five bucks for Starbucks mugs. Stop buying them. So they built up and built up. Now the prices are trickling down again. So okay, we got this little bud vase base. This is a uh, made in Yugoslavia, which doesn't exist anymore. Um, and there's a brand on here, but we couldn't find anything about it. Uh, it was only fifty cents. <coughs> and we think, you know. On the low end, this is $20, $25, and it could be more. Um, I've sold Czechoslovakian pottery before and Polish pottery, and I don't think I've sold any Yugoslavian before, but uh, yeah, it usually brings decent money in that 30 40 range, usually, but we'll see. We've got a lot of these. It's weird how things just pop up. I know people donate them and stuff, but uh, yeah, we got a bunch of these uh, wood sculptures by Novica or Novica. We don't know exactly how you say it, but these are the, the heart wooden sculptures. Got a pair of those. Got something in my throat, so I'll make. <laughs> <coughs> Again, the Novica. A couple more pairs. And each of these were six or seven dollars or so. And we got a pair of Buddhas. These were a little bit more. These were about 10 bucks a piece, but the same brand. And all these bring variety of prices. Uh, my wife comped most of them. She picked them up, but the, I think the Buddhas are the most expensive, and it goes, you know, works its way up from there, you know. So, but they're worth picking picking up if you see them. Uh, we got two more things, I think. Yeah, two more things to go. So, these are the, probably the two best things we found. My wife found one, and I found one. Uh, but I think my wife's finds is the best one actually because I overpaid for mine. <laughs> my wife found this big, huge glass pig. And this thing is heavy, still has its cork, that's important. But I only paid about 10 bucks for this guy. And it has the, this little pig went to market on the bottom. It's kind of got a bluish tinge. There's brown ones and all kinds of stuff, but this thing's huge. It's like a five gallon jug I don't know exactly but paid about 10 bucks and some of these on the high end have sold for $150 plus shipping and that's what I'm gonna ask some inexperienced sellers have sold them way too cheap but they sell they can sell and they will sell and that mid hundreds or so plus shipping so that's what we're gonna go for on that guy last item is a train set. This is heavy because it's old and it's metal. It's all metal. Look at that. And I paid, you see the price there? I paid $35 for this. It was half off, 70 bucks. This is a uh, steam line electric train made in the USA by Louis Marx and Company. So um, there was quite a few of these online, of course, a lot of train stuff on there. Incomplete ones sell for about 70 bucks plus shipping or so. This looked complete. I was not able to take it all out in the store. They had it all taped, all wrapped up, but it has like the telephone poles, the railroad crossing bar, the tracks, the transistor, the remote and all the, and the, uh, the main engine car as well. That's very important. And along with a bunch of other box cars and the caboose and everything. So, uh, if everything is there, this is high as two hundred dollars. If it's not, about a hundred bucks or so, you know, in that range, hundred to two hundred dollars. But you know me, shoot high. So uh, thirty-five dollars, two hundred, still not bad. But I still think my wife found the find of the day, the pig. So, lots of good stuff though. But that's it, guys. That's our haul. It was only two thrift stores. We were picky picking as usual, but uh, thanks for watching. Thanks to all our new subscribers, our patrons, our super chatters. All you guys are awesome. Remember, let me see, I'm filming this actually Sunday night, right after we got back from thrifting, because tomorrow I'll get to go to the dentist. Hey! So I will not be doing any videos tomorrow, but we will be releasing this video tomorrow for patrons, 
Tuesday for uh, YouTube public. And I will be back 90% sure I'll be back Wednesday live. We'll see. Depends on what they do to me. But uh, thanks, everyone, and we will see you Tuesday, Wednesday.